Hello, I'm Shandor Varga from Bitbandis Games. In the previous video, I've tried to show you how can you export your animated model into MD2 format from 3D Studio Max. And now let's see how can we import and use it in Unity. After you, you have inserted uh, my MD2 importer plugin into Unity, you should have the same uh, directory structure than I have here. The first is the materials, first directory I mean, at the moment it is empty. Perhaps you know that MD2 file can store textures ex as well, not only the keyframes and animations, but the current version of my importer doesn't support uh, texture importing, I mean it can't uh, generate materials on the fly. So that means we have to create material that we want to use manually. MD2 is the source uh, folder, I mean, if you want to insert an MD2 file, you have to put here, put that here. Meshes is a working directory. This is that place that I used to save the generated uh, model mesh. Please don't uh, remove the content. And the resources is uh, f a directory for storing prefabs. I mean, if you want to create a prefab from your generated model. And the scripts is not so important at the moment for us. It stores the script and the script of uh, my importer. Okay, after you 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 have uh, you have imported. Uh, my package, you should have this MD2 file and then the MD2 menu, menu item here in the, edit in the editor. If you don't have, please uh, just do a file save scene. There are two ways to import uh, your MD2 file. <coughs> the first is, I think this is the easier, if you use the generate, generate model editor, this is a floating panel. Okay, but before we do anything, uh, I have to insert here the generated MD2 file. Okay, here it is. And if I'm here, I'm inserting the grunt uh, texture file as well into the materials by drag and drop and uh, I'm creating a very simple mat material, it's a diffuse shader, it has a diffuse shader and I set this texture and rename this as ground, nice. Okay, let's see the, the editor. The first uh, edit box is the model name. Here we can set the name, and it's very important, you have to put the extension as well, at the end of the name. Set the material, okay, calculate tangents is, uh, is important if you want to use uh, advanced shaders like, like uh, bumped, uh, bump the diffuse and so on okay uh, just for test i uh, uncheck this use external weapon i will uh, explain this feature in the next video perhaps and use frame file should be uh, you should you should know what is it if you checked my former video so please do that if you if you didn't. Okay, shortly. Every every keyframe should have a unique name. And you can use this use frame file here if you want uh, to have different uh, animation states name. At the moment, I don't want to use it. I want to use the stored names from the MD2 file directly. And if you click on the generate model. 
here we have the org in the scene yes uh, a new md2 game object uh, appeared in in, uh, in our scene okay let's see this model as you can see it has an md2 animator script it has some properties animation speed is the sp speed uh, property of <laughs> the animation i can't describe it better let's see the animation state animation state combo box show all of the possible animation st animation states uh, came from the md2 file stand it has stand run attack and die attack and die okay and as you can see uh, for every animation state you have a loop uh, checkbox okay what is the reason of this checkbox here you can set how should an animation state behavior after it reached uh, the end and uh, end, end keyframe if your org is standing it, it would be nice if the if the stand animation state just do the just does a restart but if uh, for, for dying it, it won't be s so nice if the die states uh, played again and again so here you can set that it should be played only once okay let's see uh, uh, let's see how does it work in design time you can't see the animation to see that you have to do uh, you have to enter the play mode ah, and as you can see our orc warrior is standing it's running using uh, his nice X okay it's slow a bit but uh, trust me it is because I'm because I'm recording this video and die and here you can see uh, it it will die only one only once okay very nice okay what is what is the other way to import import the model you can you can import the model uh, not only by editor but by a script for that create an empty game object and add the generate model script from this uh, directory here you have nearly the same uh, user interface what you could see in the editor mode I'm setting the material, set the name. Don't forget that the extension is very important. Calculate tangents and use external weapon. No, uh, yes, I won't use external weapon and won't use frame file. Click on generate model. Here it is. And as you can see, in this case, the newly generated model is a child of our parent game object it is not uh, not uh, an object in the root of the scene here you can create multiple instances and here we have uh, a clear but model button and after I click on this it will clear all of the children so very good okay let's see this calculate tongue and uh, again if I create a model without this flag and I create and, uh, and I want to use an advanced shader like uh, bumped diffuse Not here it is the grant and then and I want to make a copy a clone that and uh, need a normal map apply very nice <coughs> sorry and uh, yes here I have the bump diffuse set the normal map mm -hmm. as you can see it's confused a bit how does it look let's see again 
if I create with tangent now, now it has now it has a nice sh nice band diffuse shader okay clear model clear game object okay I think uh, it's over now I mean this video thanks for watching and in the next video I would like to show you how can you uh, add a weapon for your animated uh, model bye